This is Wisconsin, Illinois, Rail Fan, and welcome back to another episode of the Traffic Lights of Bullet. In this episode, we'll be talking about a very historic traffic light here in Bullet, or at least a history breaking traffic light here in Bullet. This is the intersection of Prairie Avenue and Emmon Parkway. I chose this intersection because, as you can see on the bottom, there's a lot of changes in this intersection. Let's get started, shall we? This is what the intersection looked like in 2007. A basic, you know, standard Wisconsin traffic light. That was basically just a three-lane road or three-way road. We obviously had the left turn signals that goes on to Emmon Parkway. With trees and everything blocking the intersection. It was obviously a one lane road going back and forth. Basically your typical Wisconsin road before an upgrade. In 2015, part of a if for part of a road construction, the city of Bullitt decided to reconstruct Prairie Avenue and just re to stretch from here to I believe if we go into the map, I say I think about here, just to add a cool little gateway going into the city. Here's what the intersection looks like on a very cl another clear picture. Obviously, they didn't really come around here. There, and the Google Maps didn't really come around here. So, the latest picture we end up getting was from 2019. Now, picture this if this is 2015 and 16. Before then, this road was blocked. And then in 2017, they ended up reconstructing this road, which which ended up lengthening Emmon Parkway. This now stretched all the way to Shopier Road to make it easier for people on the west side, east side of the city, far northeast side of the city, to access I-90. I I brought up how this was a historic intersection. Well, that's because this intersection is the first flashing yellow intersection here in the city of Beloit. As you can see, as you can see, this intersection is is simple. There's a flashing, there's flashing yellow signals that are obviously the left turn signals, and then we have the typical flashing yellow signals that are only yielding signals. Just like in my last video, just like in my last video when we were talking about, just like in my last video when we were talking about how there was a lack of pedestrians with crosswalk, well, Bullet was trying to fix that with this intersection. As you can see, there's a crosswalk signal again on each side of the road. Oh, can't be a Midwest without a Casey's, am I right? Well, at least we're not Illinois. Otherwise, there'll be a Casey's down the street from another Casey's. But what, as of 2023, Beloit has over nine flashing yellow intersections or traffic lights with a flashing yellow. I bring this up because this is now really the common norm that you'll usually see in Wisconsin, where most intersections will have a flashing yellow intersect traffic light. Wisconsin loves these traffic lights, which I don't blame them. And honestly, really nothing still ever changed, even with going into November 2022, which is his recent photo. But I just had to bring up showing our first quick trip of Beloit. <laughs> but other than that, nothing has ever really changed with this traffic light. So far as I report, as I've heard of or just haven't seen, no traffic light has ever got knocked down by a Beloit driver yet. On this intersection. But. It's still a pretty cool looking intersection. I chose this one so early on in the series. Only due to the fact that I remember how excited I was to see this. 
But at that time, I ended up getting rushed into the hospital for an emergency surgery. But once I left the hospital, that was the first thing I asked my mom to do. Let me see this intersection. Even when it was at night, it was still cool seeing this intersection. Oh, I forgot to mention, of course, they put it the black poles traffic light, which is, a, again, a normal thing here in Beloit. But this has been Emmon Parkway and Prairie Avenue. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.